Hi, this is uh, David. <laughs> this is going to be a short video. I always say that. <laughs> it never happens. Um, something happened last night. <laughs> and I don't know why. I have a pretty thick skin. Uh, a lot of people don't like me. And, and that's good because I don't like anybody. <laughs> so even if one likes me, I'm winning. I'm winning. Uh, I'm coming up now on 10,000. <laughs> hits people listening to me my kids don't even listen to me now out of 10,000 uh, I had a comment last night and and I'm really not you know getting a big head about it because it can end in any second suddenly YouTube throws me off suddenly I go over dead and, and you know the fun is gone but anyway last night I got a comment and I don't know what country it was from I didn't even look but uh, it was in English <laughs> and it was in Mormon phraseology so I'm suspecting it's the great state of the beehive Utah now I've gone probably almost two weeks without Mormons um, hitting my comments and uh, and uh, you can always tell when a Mormon writes because they're very rude and they're very defending the church they've got to get those Jesus points in because if they're found looking at me <laughs> Satan is gonna come in their family and you know you're gonna lose your weenie so anyway they they come on they watch and then they put a finger down <laughs> now I told you before when you go to a Mormon website there is only one finger the thummy goes up you can't put a thummy down on a Mormon website you can't make negative comments or disagree with them so I'm always intrigued uh, because I'm open my uh, my comments have been there since I've been on the video none of them have been destroyed nobody's been blocked uh, the one guy that I blocked uh, uh, snapped out of it a little bit and I unblocked him um, so you can go in there and look and you can always see the Mormons they, they always speak <laughs> highly of me <laughs> but they do get Jesus points once they see the video and then they uh, they go oh you're a terrible person uh, they say that I'm fat uh, I'm bald <laughs> I'm ugly <laughs> those three things are true but but Mormons don't have boundaries we usually don't walk up to people in public and go you're fat you're ugly and you're bald I mean if you did that in sacrament meeting most of the women <laughs> would be going home so anyway it doesn't bother me somebody goes hey you're fat you're ugly you're bald it's okay and then uh, I've had another Mormon write in that says you're uneducated <laughs> okay I guess he has two master's degrees or maybe three and he, he's got a little more schooling than I it's possible I don't know but when 99% of the people in the world don't have a master's degree maybe you know he was one that did I don't know so I can take these comments and just you know put them where the Sun don't shine I forgot to use my prop <laughs> there we go okay I didn't think anything because I you know I'm almost 64 years old and I've been an oddball my whole life a maverick I'm bipolar I say shit that I should like shit I shouldn't say shit but I do and I quit jobs and you know I I think that sunroofs are for bad drivers that are bugging me my kids were laughing their ass off. I was going down I-80 one day and someone did something and I opened the sun <laughs> and I gave the Mormon the finger. Well, my kids say, Dad, you know, you're strange and that doesn't hurt my feelings. And uh, my little one, she said to me one day, uh, she said, Dad, you didn't come to a Grandfather's Day at school today. And I said, well, honey, I I'm, I'm not your grandfather. I'm your father. And my little seven-year-old then, she says, well, you're old enough to come. <laughs> go, shut up, shut up, kid. So, I have a pretty thick skin, and and I enjoy this. I mean, people, the Mormons have written to me and say I'm praying for you, and uh, I think that probably bothers Jesus because he doesn't give a rat's ass about me, and uh, he's never helped me. He's never done anything, but be that as it may. Um, and and I've had others say, you know, when you guys leave the church, you can't leave the church alone. 
And um, I say, you know, that's right. When you steal someone's childhood and ruin them as an adult, there's there's a little bit of anger now and then. I've gotten over that because, uh, you know, if you're going to be angry your whole life, then the Mormon church is still controlling you. I'm not going to have them controlling me. <laughs> I'm going to laugh when I see these stupid things. So a long story short, and it's never with me, you know that. I, I, I go through my comments. I'm getting almost 35 to 50 hits a day for comments and about 200 to 300 hits a day for <laughs> my mother in California hitting the computer. She's got two computers now. So anyway, uh, this guy writes to me and he said, uh, if you want to see a geek, look in the mirror. Well, I, you know, I, I'm kind of an innocent guy. I went in the bathroom and looked in the mirror. I, I didn't see a geek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see a geek. Now, a lot of the names I've been called, especially by ex-wives, are true. They're true, you know, idiotic, chaotic, <laughs> stupid. Um, there, there's a lot of true things about me, and I have learned to accept that. But I have never, in 64 years, been called a geek. <laughs> and I, uh, so I wrote, and then he said uh, in his uh, uh, comment, he says, and we Mormons have no secrets. <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> this guy's in another world, on another planet, and I should have just blocked him or erased him. And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to be transparent and I'm going to be honest. Any of you can look at any of my comments. I try not to be rude, and I, and I don't think I have been. And I don't debate Mormonism. It's nothing to debate. It's, it's, you know, if you like the comedy act, you buy a ticket, you sit down, you laugh. If you don't, you know, you walk away. And um, so I walked away. So I look at this last night, and he says, you're a geek, and we Mormons have no secrets. So I went out to my wife, this poor girl. I told you I'm married to a return missionary. <laughs> She's a spy for the Mormon church, and I have to shut the door, and she has to be at work before I can do videos. And he, you know, she'll say things like I said to my, do you ever want to see a vagina again? And I go, well, I think I do, but I don't even remember what they look like. <laughs> Stop those videos. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm down to three or four a day. <laughs> so anyway, he says, you're a geek, and you're, um, we don't have any secrets. So I try to, to be courteous. It's hard for me <laughs> at times. It's hard for me at times. Uh, I almost beat up an old man the other day who uh, yelled at me that I was parking in the handicapped parking. And I said to him, God, get your eyes fixed, you stupid old bastard. There's a handicap sticker on there. Shut your mouth. You know, and he's on the sidewalk. And I'm here's these two old boys that couldn't <laughs> hit a barn. But we're arguing. So anyway, uh, I said to my wife, I said, you know, I've never been called a geek before. She calls me a lot of things. She's as cute as can be. I love her to death. She's just the sweetest little thing. And um, she said, well, she says, if you're going to do those, those kind of videos, there's going to be people that are going to call you names. And I said, well, I think I had been called all the names, asshole. You know, I've been called every name. But a geek, I've never been called. Now, I'm old enough. I don't know. You young people, my... my Demographics jumped all over the place in the last two days. I've got more than 52% female. So I don't know if the cross-gender dressers <laughs> in Utah are now registering as females, but usually I carry 27% female, but boy, it went way, way up. And so um, I've been called a lot of names and it's never bothered me because I, I know that they're not true. But <laughs> I don't think geek is true, but I don't have that testimony or that burning feeling. Now, I go back in my life and I say, geeks. Well, I love the movie, The Revenge of the Nerds, and I laugh my ass off right now at society because the kids we made fun of in the 60s and 70s who were geeks and nerds are running the damn world now. They've got this technology that every time my computer goes off or every time something breaks, I go, those damn bastards, <laughs> the ones we used to make fun of and kick their butt and give them a, 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 a nuclear <laughs> oh, uh, wedgie. Well, I've never been called a geek and I've said that like 19 times. I know I'm having therapy here, I'm having therapy. So I go back over my lifetime thinking, you know, what is a geek? 
Now, maybe the definitions change. I know a lot of you young people, my audience is between uh, 35 and 45. <laughs> in Utah, it's 55 to 65. Because <laughs> this is Mormon authorities trying to figure out how to stop me from broadcasting. But um, I got thinking, well, what, what is a geek? And what the, my definition, I could be wrong. I'm old, I could be very, very wrong. A geek was a guy, usually. Um, you know, we didn't call gir girls geeks. It was a little bit, you know, out of bounds. But the guys had glasses, okay? Well, I have reading glasses. <laughs> I have 20-20 vision right now at any distance, any distance. But when I get down to reading, you know, <laughs> maybe I am a geek now. I don't know. I have glasses. <laughs> so I'm going to try to wear them uniquely so nobody will think I'm a geek. So I'm saying to myself, well, the geeks wore glasses in seventh grade. I never wore glasses till I was 60 for reading. And uh, so then I got thinking, well, the geeks, <laughs> this is getting funny to me now. I don't give a shit if you turn me up. A geek was a guy that wore his pants, you know, way up by his belly button. <laughs> and now that I'm old, geez, that's where my pants are. And, and they fall off sometimes. And my kids will say, Dad, we're going out the front door. You're only wearing underwear. You don't have any pants. I go, oh, shit, I'm a geek. <laughs> so I go in, and I put my pants, and then they fall off halfway down the staircase. So I always have my hand in my pocket. Well, I had that in high school. <laughs> now I have it as an old man. So here I am. Now I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> My pants are up over my navel, and a lot of geeks would wear suspenders, and I would, except I'm afraid <laughs> it might snap me into the celestial game because I don't know how to use them. So, you know, then I was thinking, well, what out about geeks? Um, they have usually, um, uh, you know, they're really uh, fanatical on stuff, like they're patriotic. <laughs> And they have flags and shit. Like, oh my God, I bought a flag for the first time in my life two weeks ago. It's a geek flag. Well, then I got thinking, well, nah, I'm not a geek. Those guys are on the computer all the time. Jeez, how many hours am I on the computer? Like nine hours a day. So I have entered into that geek computer world. <laughs> And then uh, the geeks are always fanatic. They uh, are always either Republicans or Democrats, and they repeat and repeat and repeat back uh, what they've been told for, uh, like, parrots. And I'm saying to myself, okay, I've been called a damn geek. <laughs> now, <laughs> geeks were always guys that couldn't get girls. Well, you know, I wasn't... <laughs> John Travolta when I was 17, but I was his brother. <laughs> I had black hair and it was stacked up, you know, like Ricky Nelson and Elvis. And I didn't have any trouble um, getting girls and dating and going out and having girlfriends. Uh, I didn't have, going to a dance, I, I was a dancer at BYU, so I always had the advantage that I could go over and ask any girl to dance before the boys did because no matter what came on music, I could dance to it, and that was a nice advantage. So, I'm saying to myself, geeks are guys that can't get any girls. Then I got thinking, well, hell, I've been married <laughs> six times. <laughs> Jesus. I moved into another geek category. <laughs> I'm going, God, you know, maybe this guy was a prophet. Maybe he saw something the other 10,000 of you <laughs> and me have not thought. So I'm sitting and thinking, well, you know, geeks were always guys that didn't know shit about dressing. You know, they would wear a black suit with white socks or a black suit with white shoes. And uh, you could see a geek, it was like a 70. If you were ever 70 in the 60s, 70s, 80s, you, you had no idea how to dress. You could always see a 70 in the ward because <laughs> he was always, in, uh, it looked like he was dressing for a clown show. Well, now, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Jesus, maybe this guy is right. I have a long sleeve, heavy shirt on. I mean, it's 14 degrees outside, but... <laughs> I have shorts <laughs> and they don't match my shirt. 
And I have white tennis shoes that I wore today with white socks, which is cool. Uh, that's really cool. But there was no laces <laughs> in the damn shoes. The kids took the laces out. And you know, kids, they do shit that just, if you th think about it, you'll go to a mental hospital. So uh, I went to school today <laughs> in this shirt and a coat, a heavy winter coat and shorts and tennis shoes <laughs> that had no laces in them. Now, I think that is a gentleman's quarterly guy, myself, <laughs> Joseph Banks, <laughs> the, the warehouse, uh, I'm, you're guaranteed you're going to look good, and I guarantee it, you're going to like it. <laughs> well, Jesus. <laughs> now, the other thing I saw about geeks in high school, and, and that's most of the time, they didn't have any facial hair, or, you know, they were always effeminate, and... Um, and now uh, I notice <laughs> in my hygiene, you know, I used to be just meticulous in my, my hygiene when I was younger, but now I don't go anywhere. I just sit here. I'm not sweating. I'm not working. Uh, it's not that, you know, you have to always take a shower when you're working and everything, but uh, I don't, now don't get me wrong. I'm not going like months. <laughs> Without a shower, that's dementia. That is not geek. That is dementia. I haven't gotten quite there. I do forget a lot of things. <laughs> the commercials now on TV are so long. I can't remember what show I was watching. And I'm always changing the channel. And, you know, I'll say things to the kids like, you need to take a bath. I just did 10 minutes ago, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're right. I remember 10 minutes ago. So I'm putting together all of the, the, the qualities of a geek. And uh, now I, I have to give you a little history, okay? I, dr I rode or drove, I owned uh, two or three Z28 Camaros and Hearst four-speed transmissions. And uh, I had a, a Cadillac S, uh, STS, I think, uh, 300 horsepower. And uh, I've had uh, Volvos and I've had uh, sports cars. And uh, I have now a new uh, Hyundai uh, limited edition black with tinted windows. <laughs> Making me look like I'm going to cruise town and find a girl. Right. <laughs> they all wave until I go by and then they, oh, no, Jesus. <laughs> He's a geek. <laughs> Jeez. So I used to race at BYU in the parking lot. I had a, uh, uh, what was that, 69 uh, the Z28 with the competition stripes on it and everything. And uh, I used to race there at BYU. And I won sometimes. And I drove bus. Uh, it's hard to be really effeminate <laughs> and have 99 people behind you, uh, seniors and school kids and BYU uh, ski bunnies, uh, trusting you. And uh, I worked high-rise construction uh, in Los Angeles. I wore a tool belt and we had a lanyard hooked to the outside cable. So if we fell off, <laughs> we would just dangle there until somebody came and got us rather than splashing on the ground. And uh, I water skied and uh, uh, I used to do tubing there when I was at BYU, go down the Provo River and out into the, uh, the, the Provo Lake. And uh, I owned uh, a one boat. I had a nice speed boat. <laughs> Until one motor fell off over in Saratoga Springs, and it's a bitch trying to find a motor <laughs> in a lake. What do you do <laughs> on a muddy lake? You just feel around? I don't know. So I went in circles and circles until the police came out and towed my boat in. So um, I, I've had a Corvettes. I've had two or three Corvettes. And uh, so I, I, I don't see myself. I've had trucks as a geek. <laughs> but maybe... Shit, when you get old, maybe you go into geek territory. You don't see it. You look in the mirror and you see all that black hair there. and You see that, you know, white shirt and cufflinks and uh, all the uh, f placards you got on the wall. And suddenly, uh, you know, someone says out of 10,000 people, I think if you want to see a real geek, go look in the mirror. Well, I've solved that. Okay, I've solved that. I've taken every damn mirror in the house down. That's it. No more mirrors in this house. And I've snapped them off in the car. So I don't want to see that geek anymore. But anyway, keep those cards uh, and letters and your massive donations. <laughs> the Mormons go, he's doing this for money. If any of you ever want to spend any money, please send it to Mrs. Gabor, like Zsa, Zsa Mrs. Gabor, who is the main social worker in the Butuan, orphanage 
in Mindanao Island uh, in the Philippines. And those kids are starving to death. They're really hurting. So if you ever feel like money, I don't take money. I don't have a ministry. There's no books to join. There's no, no, there's no pyramid. There's no Ponzi. There's no nothing. I just get in front of my computer and I just tell it the way it is, the way David sees it. And some of you uh, so far in two and a half months uh, have a tendency, uh, 10,000 of you to say, well, at least I'll watch his ass once. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I've lost uh, two subscribers. Now, when you're my age <laughs> and you have 65 and up people watching you, there's a few of them that do. Uh, most of them can't even get on a computer, but they die. They die. I don't think it's fair <laughs> to blame me for losing two subscribers, okay? Um, so I always have a net gain and, and more and more people subscribe, and I appreciate that. That's just wonderful that some people um, are willing to put up with my crap. But uh, I've been willing to put up with Mormon crap for 50 years, so it's, it's a good payback. It's good therapy for me. So uh, if you ever want to send money, don't send it to me. Don't even send it in my name. Just put your own name on it and um, send it to the Philippines, Mendenhall, and attention, Mrs. Gabor. And you can always say, uh, David said, uh, to uh, send you some money for the kids. And she's pretty honest. She, she doesn't take <laughs> a lot of payoffs. <laughs> It only cost me a little bit to, to adopt the kids, but she's a good woman. She, she's a good woman and a good friend. So anyway, um, I'm going to continue to evaluate the Greek uh, geek squad. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't nerd, uh, and I'm not sure geek is better than nerd. But the damn mirrors, they're gone, and um, my wife is still laughing her ass off because being a Mormon, she goes, well, see, you're getting what you deserve. You have 300 videos on there against the Mormon church. I said, they're not against the Mormon church. They're just my experience in the Mormon. Well, you know, God knows, and God is punishing you because now someone has called you a geek. And I said, well, honey, it's only one out of 10,000. She says, well, it could be the one Jesus spoke to. <laughs> so I love the Mormons. <laughs> I love them. It's better than Homie the Clown. It is better than the Three Stooges. It is better than Laurel and Hardy or Charlie Chaplin. Every day I wake up, I look at the paper or I look out the window, and they've got some kind of a comedy show brewing again. Thanks.